Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to learn about binary add or subtract. In the previous lecture, we have studied how to create a 4-bit binary add or circuit. Now, in this circuit, we are having a combination. This is a combination circuit which will work as an adder as well as subtractor based on some input right so that is based on my m right so if my m is equal to 0 then this this circuit only will work as adder and if m is equal to 1 then the same circuit will work as a subtractor but before that you should be aware of that how to perform a subtraction uh, binary number subtraction in a basic computer right so what we do whenever we need to perform a minus b right so ultimately we are going to add two's complement of b along with a so it's not a subtraction or operation ultimately we perform the addition of a with the two's complement of b now how to find this two's complement of b so that two's complement of b that is equal to one's complement of b plus one right so this is like we need to first of all find the ones complement of b that means b dash right so if i'm having b0 b1 b2 b3 that's a four bit number right so i need to find b0 dash b1 dash b2 dash b3 dash so ultimately it's a b dash right and we are adding one at the least significant bit lsp right so we are going to add that one at the least significant beat right so that is the logic behind performing how to perform a minus b right so if you want to create a simple binary subtractor right this is a combination circuit but instead of combination circuit if you want to perform uh, if you want to create a circuit for which will work only as a subtractor so what you can do you can take full adders right and at the uh, input of b you can just add one inverter right the not gate right so that inverter you add so you will get b dash and the initial carry just put it instead of zero give that initial carry as a one right so that is a basic logic of create a subtractor right now this is a combination circuit which will work as both as uh, as an adder as well as subtractor right so first we'll see the circuit so as you know here we are having full adders right the same thing we have done in a binary adder as well right so this is a four bit binary adder as well as subtractor so i'm using full adders right so that will have three inputs right one is a0 right a0 that means a's bit right so here it's a zeroth bit first bit second bit and third bit right if i want i can give the name 0 1 2 and 3 right so zeroth bit would be given to this first bit second bit and the third bit right now the second input in the binary adder we have given the second input directly b right so the b0 b1 b2 b3 right but here we want something different right because if i'll directly give b right b0 b1 b2 and b3 it will perform as an adder right addition operation only perform right so what we are going to do here we are adding xor gate right this is xor gate and in this xor gate will have two inputs one that is b right and the another one is second input this xor second input is either zero or one right now as you know the logic of xor if i perform b xor zero it will give me b right and if i do b xor one it will give me b dash right so that's a simple logic we have right so here what we are having we are having xor gates right and the output of the xor gate is given to the full adder as a second input right and 
Now you might think that what will be the uh, input for uh, XOR gate, right? So the one input for the XOR gate are B's bit, that is B0, B1, B2 and B3, right? And the another input that can be either 0 or 1 and that would be same for all the XORs, right? So we are just having one bit, right? And that is M, right? You can see over here, oh, it might not be visible, just wait, okay. So this is M. Right, and the same initial carry we want, right? C0, right? Because for the addition, for the addition, like here, I need 0, 0, 0, and 0, right? So that is my M. And for the addition, you know that C0 is always 0 for the addition, mm -hmm. right? So I have uh, here written a single input M that would be given as an initial carry as well as the second input of XOR. Right. Here you can see that uh, the output carry of the zeroth full adder is given as an input carry for the first full adder. Right. And so on. And this S0, S1, S2 and S3 are the sum. Right. Whatever answer. Right. Sum. That means addition or subtraction. That is the answer. Right. And C4 is my final carry. If I give this M is equal to 0. So my initial carry would be 0. Right. Along with that. All the second inputs of my XOR gate are 0, 0, 0 and 0, right? Here I'll have B3, B2, B1 and B0. So the output of this XOR gate would be B3, here B2, B2 XOR 0, that means B2, B1 XOR 0, that's a B1, B0 XOR 0, so B0, right? So here full adder will get A0 plus B0 plus 0. Right, so that will perform A plus B and whatever the carry is that, that would be forwarded. Again, A1 plus B1 plus C1, the answer, the carry is forwarded. A2 plus B2 plus C2, right, answer and the carry is forwarded. A3, B3 and C3. So, so the answer is S3 and this is my final carry. Right, now this is, if M is equal to 0, it will work as an adder. Right, now what if... Uh, uh, if I give m is equal to 1, right, so then it would perform as a subtractor. So if I give m is equal to 1, that means this inputs are 1, 1, 1, 1. Here the initial carry is 1, right. So b0 plus 1, so I'll get b0 dash b1 plus 1, uh, sorry, xor, not plus, huh? b0 xor 1, I'll get b0 dash b1 xor 1, that's a b1 dash b2 xor 1. That's a B2 dash and B3 XOR1. So I'll get B3 dash, right? So here I'm getting one's complement B0 dash, B1 dash, B2 dash and B3 dash, right? So it's a B dash, right? Along with that, I'm adding this one as my initial carry, right? So that would be added at the least significant bit LSB, right? So A0 plus B0 dash plus 1, the answer and whatever the carry is, right, that would be forwarded and the same way the subtraction is performed. So ultimately when I give M is equal to 1, so it will be A plus B dash plus 1. So this B dash plus 1 is nothing but 2's complement of B. So A plus 2's complement and whenever I add Two's complement to A, it will perform A minus B, right? So this is how the same circuit will work as an adder as well as subtractor, right? Just you need to change the M. So M is equal to zero, it will work as an adder. M is equal to one, it will work as a subtractor, right? So this is pretty easy, right? So I hope you understood it, right? Uh, thank you so much.